It is the International Day of the Girl, and we want to introduce you to a remarkable young woman. She's working to break down stigmas and help other girls her age, as well as aid homeless women in the community. Colette joins us now, and Colette, she's focusing on a topic that some people find tough to talk about. Yeah, that's right, because she's talking about menstruation. And that's not something we talk about on the news very often, right? Mm -hmm. But that's kind of part of the point, is she wants to get open discussion going. That's all part of her focus. Her name is Tate Gamble, and she wants to reduce that stigma around talking about periods and pads and tampons, and she wants to improve access to these necessities for women. So she's doing that in two different ways. First of all, with the group she started, it's called Menstruation Nation. It focuses on putting free dispensing machines in schools and public bathrooms. And then second, she's also a coordinator with the folks from Period Purse. They hold packing parties and put together purses for hygiene products for homeless women. And Tate Gamble says this is just a basic human right. Tell me, in your school, did you have the dispensers? Were they there at all? No, we had no dispensers. You would have to go to the school office uh, or the uh, phys ed office, or you'd go to a friend. Because of you, there's not only dispensers, but I just want to understand, those dispensers are free? They're free, and that was something I really advocated for. Menstruation Nation is amazing because it started so organically with just one teenager who fought for menstrual equity in her school. She won those free pads and tampons in her um, in the bathrooms of her school, and that's when it we really started expanding it. So we're bringing that outreach program into different schools for girls and boys to do those um, drives to help that outreach and really to help end that period of period poverty. Learned about the period purse and considered that this is something that menstruators on the streets of Toronto and our shelters are dealing with every month uh, and they're not feeling safe or dignified or healthy. Uh, anyone who menstruates knows that when you don't have your supplies. Open that conversation and start that education piece around periods and help decrease that stigma that we have with periods. It's empowering. You volunteer together as a menstruation nation, you raise awareness and you discuss together and you're getting involved in your community and making a difference. Uh, and that's an incredible bonding thing to do. I've seen such beautiful things since starting this. Everything from some man donating his mother's stuff after she passed to a little eight-year-old girl who donated her Easter money to buy us tampons. So it's really beautiful how one idea can really encourage and inspire other people to give back and, and be Toronto the Good. So you're here, Tate, because you are part of Toronto the Good. You might not <laughs> think that about yourself, but I'm here to thank you, thank you from the community for doing the things that you're doing for the, thank the you, GTA. Thank you, well-deserved thank you there mm -hmm. and obviously a leader in the community where did yep. she get this interest in volunteering yeah though? and she's just 18 years old wow. by the way you know I asked her about that because I'm always wondering and uh, she said yes it came from her parents but it started earlier than that it was her grandparents so they started with collecting for charities and donating and teaching Tate and her brother about social justice and so that's kind of where it came from for them if you want to help with the period purse their fall drive they do need your help they're looking for it now you can either volunteer or actually make donations and all the info can be found at their website it's the periodpurse.com